I gotta look up a video on YouTube and cut this freaking trim, bro. Let me get all y'all here. Hold on. Today, guys, because this crap's get on my last freaking nerves, and I, honestly, I don't even like the way it looks. I don't even know where it's rubbing from. Oh, it's rubbing from right here again. So yeah, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cut it. I think I'm gonna just take it off. Get some, uh, get some actual painter's tape and just go down like right there. Um, down like that. This one, go down like that too as well. So. Yeah, that's all I need to do. So, cause I really want to put it all the way on. Cause you see how it's sticking out. Look how it's sticking out right there. So. The only way I could put it on, well, actually no. I have to honestly put it on the right way. Put it on the right way and probably tape it off where I want to cut it. That's what I want to have to do. I think that's what I need to do. Yep, yep, yep. But that mug gonna be running. I mean, it's gonna be rubbing until I get to the house, to be honest with y'all. Um, it is what it is, so I'm just gonna drive slow, honey. Drive slow. It got worse. It got worse. All right, guys. I made it safely back to the Christmas. So uh, I remember uh, after I left the uh, Texas Painted Body, I hit up my boy's Graves World. Man, make sure I go follow him on Instagram and YouTube. He has a 96 Impala too, super clean. It's like that, I don't know, it's like a metallic green. He got them uh, gold things on that mug. Uh, I told him to send me his, uh, how he got his, because his, he got 26, but he on 4Gs, and he got the red in and all that stuff done. So I'll post a picture of his, um, and I was just looking at his to be honestly, uh, to see how I needed to cut, because I knew eventually I was gonna have to cut. Uh, they, to me, it don't look right with it off, so that's why I just want to get it done right the right way, put it on the right way, so. But for shit, so I gotta uh, cut it right there, though. So I think I'm just gonna bring that mug in. to lift this mug up but yeah i want it, i want it on the right way because if you put it all the way up it'll look good yeah, honestly i think i want to lift this mug up too to be honest Yeah, 
this back just had to get cut. I'm gonna go actually. I need to check on my baby. My baby's sick. Yeah, because y'all look from the back. Look how that mud's sticking out, bro. That crap, boo boo. You know what I'm saying? Look how that mud sticking out. So, yeah, we're going to have to get that fixed. For show, for show. For show, for show. Tape right here. Pop, pop. Damn, I think my jacket's all the way. She's his way over there. Ooh, wee. Baby. I really don't think I have to cut nothing on the back, to be honest, guys. Seems like it has enough space once I get it all up. I think it's just the front. So, that's how much. It's not a lot I have to cut off, though. I think that's all I would have to do, to be honest. I don't think I have to cut the back. I just gotta get this mug on here really tight some kind of way. I think I gotta take it off and squeeze those little clip things. Um, but I don't think I have to cut the back at all. It's just cutting this front. All right, guys, so I did the taping on different sides. Like, I didn't take them off, then came over here and taped them off. I actually did it on the car, and I got it really close to both sides the same way. So I wanted to get another wheel. I think I start from down here and just work my way up on both sides, start from down here, work my way up, and then push these in all the way so they can grab tighter, push those in, that one's good, and then I want to buy some new screws, but I have to go buy a new wheel because I don't want to use an old wheel I have, I want to use a brand new one. Perfect. And hopefully this works. This should work. I don't think, like I said, I don't think the rear needs it. It's just the front. And I'm not going to put them on the actual front of the car. Because I think it looks fine without them. A lot of people ask me why I'm not riding a motorcycle no more, guys. This is the reason why. I need to buy a new tire. Honestly, I need to buy a new tire for both. Uh, but you can see the tread showing on that one. That's kind of dangerous. But I need to buy tires for both sides, front and back. But yeah, the front, man, it looks good without it. Y'all yeah, comment below. I'm not gonna put the trim on the front. It's like no point. To me, it's no point, but it has to go on the back. I do not like the way this looks and I can't give y'all, like they cut it, but whoever cut this mug did a horrible job too. But they cut it, man. Um, did a horrible job, but like I said, I wanna get that on there and that'll cover that up. I gotta clean all this off real quick. All right, guys, literally several hours later. Um, so I'm about to, size kind of I'm about to set up right here, away from the cars or anything. Um, I got the actual grinder with a little thin wheel on here, of course. Um, got my safety glasses. Well, these ain't really safety glasses, but they do. They're supposed to be for my running. Distance. Got my glasses. And I got the pieces. Now I just need two cut so we're going to do the hardest one first which is will be the uh driver's side because how it is how it's positioned um it'd be hard for me to cut that way so i'm gonna set y'all up on a tripod guys uh, i'm gonna do a quick time lapse probably 
my baby feeling better now. It's a good thing, so she is feeling a lot better. I just want to go get her something to eat. But yeah, guys, so we're going to start this right now. how this mug is gonna fit. I actually forgot to get the screws, bro. All right, guys. I'm officially done with it. This side is 100. The seat, ah, 100% complete. Um, all right, guys, officially done. I just need to get some better screws because I got wood screws in these, but 100% done. As you can see, slim to none fitment over there. And then I don't have this one down. I want to get some better screws, but when it fits in, fits in like that. No gaps, nothing. But yeah, I want to get a better screw. That's the only thing that's holding me back is a better screw. So, and then this side will go perfect. The problem is whoever whoever did this put the two on here, they shouldn't have cut the piece behind this. That's where they messed up at. So because originally this supposed to grab onto there. So you're just supposed to trim this piece. That's where they mess up at. But I kind of fixed it. And it should, I want to say it should be good. I just have to ride and see. Um, but yeah, should be good. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta bend that one out a little bit because it can go in. Um, man, it is freaking hot, guys. It is freaking hot. That's all I gotta say. Freaking hot. Yep, so we are fishy. Gonna be Gucci when I get the better screws, man. So I'm gonna take my butt back in this house real quick, man. It is freaking hot. Sheesh. Sheesh, sweesh. It is freaking hot. Hey guys, so I went to go get a. Um... Hold on, I gotta make sure y'all are clean, bro. Y'all got it all over y'all, man. All right. Smile. Not you. Him. No, no, no. The other guy. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you good, bro. Just wipe your dog right here. You got a little bit. Okay. So I went to O'Reilly, bro, to get an all pump from the box Chevy, the four-door box Chevy. Man, I low-key. Man, you know me, man. I don't, if anybody know me, I don't be trying to help nobody because I always think something to set up, right? That's just how I be thinking sometimes. Oh, my wallet right here. I did have my wallet. 
Okay, I thought I didn't have my wallet. Um, so this lady was out there screaming, a black lady in a bugler saber, uh, 2016. So her fuel, if I find it online, I show you what I'm talking about. A couple of days ago, I was driving. My engine suddenly got overheated and I pulled over and I saw like a splash there and later I found out that it was the um, coolant bypass hose that connector there broke so I lost all my coolant suddenly and um, had to have my car towed home her her coolant I thought it was fuel because I was boy I thought it was fuel that's the only reason why I helped her because I thought it was a fuel line it was leaking but it was her coolant line she said she had a slow leak and it was just always slow and uh slow leaking and she started seeing smoke so it's this little fitting that goes onto a line that goes somewhere else I don't know where it goes but it's coolant and remember, remind you, I thought it was freaking, uh, I thought it was freaking fuel, bro. But I'm, I'm freaking, stop what I'm doing, put my uh, fuel pump down in the, the O'Reilly to help her out. I'm like, man, this is cooling. But I'm already helping her. So she said, oh, man, I just want to make it home. She had a school teacher. My wife's a school teacher. So that made me feel sorry about it. I'm like, man, this is my wife. I would want somebody to help my wife too. Cause I did not, y'all know, I don't like messing with other people's cars. So the mechanic in me came out. Cause y'all know, I know, I know how to work on cars and stuff. So the fitting broke and it's a plastic fitting within a, a hose and you cannot put it back together because it's a fitting. Go past this light. Then at the next one, turn left. It's a plastic fitting. You can't. And that's at the light. Use the left two lanes to turn onto Katy Freeway Frontage Road, then keep left. That's the freaking uh, fender crap rubbing still, so I gotta get that. Still gotta cut some more. But, um. Use the left lane to keep God. left to merge onto I 10 East. Alright, let me get over real fast because she can shut up. Alright, so. Let me. she gonna talk again. I know she is. Alright, so. Alright, so I'm back. So. I'm like, I told her, I said, if they don't have this part here, uh, it's nothing you really could do unless, of course, I didn't say it like this, but I said, unless you jimmy rig it. I could jimmy rig it for you, just for you to make it home, but I wouldn't advise you to uh, drive like this for more than a couple days like that. I said, just get through, get the work tomorrow and all that and go about your business, but you gotta get it fixed ASAP. So what I did is I took the fitting that was broke. I uh, took the other line off the top, took the fitting, got a hose to go over the fitting, got, uh, got a clamp, and then got another clamp to go to the other top of the hose. And the crap worked. She said, she said, Dan, you a mechanic? I said, no, I'm not, but I know how to work on cars. She said, shoot, my stuff ain't even leaking. I said, I, she, when she said that, I said, ma'am, like I told you before, you can only ride like this for a couple of days. Don't make it normal. You know how y'all women are, bro, y'all. So she said, okay, thank you, I appreciate it. And the guy at O'Reilly told me, man, you smart as hell. I said, bro, it's not smart, it's survival. Like, you trying to get home, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, I'm pretty sure she don't wanna stay here and pay for a tow truck, and it's not nothing bad that you can't fix, but Long story is long. The moral of the story is, guys, help people out, man. I have to get in the habit and stop doing it, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't help people out. Like random people, like I've been doing it lately, but I'm gonna tell you why. Back in the day, you can ask anybody. If you had a flat tire and I'm going down the freeway, I will pull over to help you out. Like y'all see my other video, it was a guy that had a trailer that fell off his truck. I helped him out. I usually don't do that. The reason why, the reason why, because I feel like people be trying to set people up. It's just how the world is. And 
you you go out your way to help somebody out, and then they try to set you up. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't do it no more. Uh, but lately, I have. But I'm telling you, man, I used to be the type of person who would pull over and help anybody out, man. Because, ooh, damn. I gotta get that crap cut, bro. Like that crap is annoying. Like, what's going on with this traffic, bro? The traffic is ridiculous. Well, y'all can't even see. But yeah, man. So I drove all the way from home, dropped my daughter off for practice. My oldest, Jayla. It's still rubbing on this side, on the passenger side. So I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more. Uh, I don't know if y'all can hear it or not on the video, but it's still rubbing, like barely rubbing, but it's rubbing. Like it's probably taking a clear coat off the damn rims. So I gotta cut a little bit more and I probably won't take the tire off. I'll probably put a cardboard between the grinder and the, um, and the wheel, cause I'll probably raise up the car, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I gotta get this bug fixed cause that bug is rubbing the driver, the uh, passenger side is Gucci. Y'all hear it? Like the car's pushing forward, so it's rubbing. I just gotta cut a little bit more, man, so. But it's crazy cause look, it's not, it's not rubbing right now. I think that F-150, bro, that bug's sticking out a lot, jeez. Golly. But yeah, man, other than that, man, that's gonna be the end of the video, man. In my old lane, doing my old thing. This dude just cut me off bad as hell. Other than that, man, peace. In my own lane, doing my own thing. I'm reading the video. That's all, folks.